very, very happy to talk about what may be one of my favorite topics, which is real estate investing and a particular kind of real estate investing, in my case, buy and hold. Uh, if you know me, then you know that there are some topics you can't get me to stop talking about. And this would be topic number one among those topics, real estate investing, because it's changed my life. And um, I've seen it change the lives of other people. Uh, you may know I run a team at Keller Williams. I'm one of the owners of the DC offices of Keller Williams, and within it I run Eng Garcia Properties. My wife Lucy Eng is an interior designer. I'm Carlos Garcia. Our moniker is investment-minded, design-conscious. She's the designer. I love the aesthetic side, sure, but what uh, really floats my boat is running the numbers. It's the investment side. And uh, this is an interesting time in Washington because uh, we've seen uh, pricing move up. Uh, some people are talking about, uh, you know, is it sustainable? Is this a bubble? Personally, I, I think that the market's moved up quite a bit, but I've seen it move up more. And in consecutive years, I've seen, you know, back to back uh, 10, 20 percent type years for three, four years running. Um, we just are coming off of about a 9 percent median pricing improvement or increase in our metro area. Um, we should talk about why I'm bullish long term on the market. And right now, I'm honestly digging deep into my resources to leverage what I've got and, uh, and pony up uh, two down payments on two long-term buy and hold properties that are at prices that are, for me, quite substantial uh, here in early 2021. Uh, buying and holding um, is uh, potentially uh, a philosophy. It's a way of asset building um, that uh, focuses on key principles like leverage, Okay, you're going to put 10 or 20% down, but get 100% of the asset in your name. And that is a huge differ differentiator against other asset classes. Uh, and, and just letting father time, letting time do its thing, holding a property a long time and seeing the mind-blowing changes that can happen in terms of the value of the property, transformation of the neighborhood, appreciation in rents, very importantly, if you're doing a long-term buy and hold. So there's a lot... Uh, to talk about and the philosophy, why a person does it and how you can do it as a side hustle. Um, I, I do believe I have at this point after over 20 years of investing a portfolio that approaches the, the real estate portfolios of people who do nothing but investing. But let me be clear, it has always been and it, it remains a side hustle for me. Only reason my portfolio is, is of any size is because I've been doing it for a while and time matters. I have, uh, how can I say this in a way that doesn't sound like gaudy, but like imagine this force, Father Time, is working for me. I've, I've manipulated uh, 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 the situation to the point where I've got Father Time giving me just a little bit of his juice, okay? And what time has done is just mind-blowing. And I can get into specifics and numbers with you. Um, but there's certain key principles that I follow um, as a total side hustle used to be a very busy lawyer and I'm a very busy realtor. I'm, I'm a busy dad, husband, son, father. Um, but I've been able to relegate this to a side hustle. It's not dominating my life in terms of the energy that it takes. But I'm very, very clear on the principles, how I follow them and how I use them uh, to my benefit. So I'd love to talk with you about it. It, it ain't rocket science. It's just a few. Two, three, five key principles. Stick to them. Rinse and repeat. Let time do its job and become a millionaire. If you'd like to talk to me about it, uh, by all means, reach out. I love real estate investing.